here to bring you another one of my junk journals. So this time um, it's a ring bound journal. It's pretty big. Um, it's made from a file folder that I cut in half and um, I have stitched this kind of fabric which was actually a vintage kind of placemat which I coffee stained and then I stitched around the file folder to create the front and back. And then the front I have layered up with various lace trims. So if I untie the fastening, which is this soft netting fabric and some um, really pretty kind of satin ribbon. Um, and this is my Cinderella journal. So the front cover, really pretty, is layered up with multiple layers of lace. It's got this uh, white lace, this pink um, lace, and then this gorgeous kind of pinky um, lilac-y coloured lace. I'm just going to raise my tripod slightly so I can get it all in. Um, and then it's also got this gorgeous bridal lace trim that's got the sequins there that hopefully you can see that. And then it's got um, an image here from a vintage um, Delightful Key Classics, they're called, Cinderella book, which um, I actually did copy these, so it's not actually the original, but I copied them from the book. And then I have coffee stained them, layered it up with some vintage uh, sheet music. And then here, I probably can't really pick it up on the camera, but just literally put some glittered kind of stickles just around the roses here. Um, and then Mod Podged over the top of the paper kind of items and then it's just got this fabric flower down here that's just been layered up and there's our Monty centre. So going inside, on the inside front cover it's got a belly band made from this um, beautiful very pale blue lace which has then got some pearly trim across and then inside there I've just got a little fold out kind of booklet tied with this really delicate kind of iridescent um, twine I suppose, it's kind of twiny stuff. And this was made from a Ritz in London afternoon tea um, menu uh, that I have coffee stained. It's not vintage um, but I was lucky enough to go there for afternoon tea a while ago. So that is what that is and it's been coffee stained, it's had some lace stitched onto it and then a little flower there with some glitter and then inside it's just got a few coffee stained pages there for journaling space. I'm going to tie that up afterwards so that I can speed through this a bit quicker. Then on the facing page it's just some scrapbook paper which has also been coffee stained. It's also got this same pale blue um, belly band lace and then it's just got this um, vintage sheet music envelope um, there isn't anything in there, but obviously that's for all your keepsakes and memorabilia. And that's just been stitched on the sewing machine, and then it's got some more of that little bridal trim there on the kind of flap. So that just goes in there. And then over the page, there's one of the images from the book, and that's um, forming a pocket. It's got some lace trim at the bottom, and then it's just got a variety of kind of flowers here down the side. These two flowers are actually from um, a bridesmaid headdress. Um, I don't know whether you'd call it vintage really. I think it's about 24 years old. Um, I did hear once that anything over 20 years is classed as vintage, but those are from there. And it's just got a little bow. And inside that pocket, I've got some vellum folded over just to create a little booklet, which the center sheet is actually from the inside cover of some sheet music and then the other sheet is just some coffee dyed paper um, and then it's just got some lace trim that's been stapled together to form the book Oops, so that just tucks into that pocket and then here on this page it's got a belly band here from this kind of pearly um, trim so it's kind of multiple rows of pearls and that's been layered up with some lace trim here and some more lace at the bottom and then it's just got a bow and some soft netting there. And inside there is just a journaling tag with an image from the book of the Ugly Sisters. Who doesn't love the story of Cinderella after all? And then on this page, I've just got um, a little layered up flower with some lace and some fabric and a pearl center. And then some lace trim here. 
And then I have incorporated um, images or pages from the book. These are actually copies of the pages, but they've all been coffee stained um, and I've, I think, tried to keep them in order. So they're one-sided, copied one-sided. So on the back of every single page from the book, there is obviously a journaling page. So this book's really got a lot of journaling space in it. Here I've got a little cluster made up from an image from the book and some other coffee stained papers layered up and then a lace flower, some lace trim down the side and that's just got a little pull out tag and I've got this punch out of a glittered shoe. I don't know whether the camera can pick that up really or not. Anyway, that's just layered up on there. So a little journaling tag. And then on the other side of the page, I've just got this stamped image of a frame. I've got some stamped kind of swirls at the top and then a layered up little cluster down the bottom. Again, with another um, little die cut image of a shoe that's got glitter on it and some lace down the side. Then on this page, just some lace trim down the side and then on the back of there, it's got this um, embossed stamped image here saying forever and always. It's got a little shoe in iridescent cardstock and some pearls there. Here's some more pages from the book, which again, kept the reverse side plain for journaling. Um, so that's those. And then here I've just got another piece of scrapbook paper and a little bow. And then on the reverse of there, I've got some lace trim. This is vintage lace trim with some beautiful, um, very pale pink ribbon running through it. And then I've got a doily here that I've just very lightly inked with pink, very pale pink um, inks. And then I've got a little cluster here with an image from the book of Cinderella helping the ugly sisters get ready for the ball. And that's got a sewing pattern, little fold out booklet with some coffee stained paper with more room for journaling, another image from the book there. That just tucks in up there. Then on here, I've got some more pages from the book. Tried to really keep a lot of space for journaling and to be honest, the album itself or the journal itself was so fat anyway, I couldn't possibly kind of add anything else to those pages. So I've tried to keep them kind of plain. Here I've got a sheet of vellum, um, which I just thought coordinated really nicely with the journal. So it's very pale pink, it's got some polka dots and some swirls. And then I've just got an altered paper clip on the side holding this um, little stitched envelope, which um, has been made from book paper and it's been stitched on the sewing machine. And then I've just glittered in this pale pink iridescent glitter, um, the flap there. So that just paper clips onto the side, oops, <clears throat> like that. Then I've got another page from the book. And then on this page, I've got this um, beautiful frame um, with some coffee stained paper behind it. And then a doily, a little image there of some shoes. And then a little layered up um, lace, again from that um, headdress, uh, from a bridesmaid's headdress. And a little mulberry rose, some bows and some flowers and then that's also a pocket there for this tag which actually was some shop packaging and I've just um, torn out a little image on the front saying love and then stuck a couple of fabric flowers on so that's and it's held with that iridescent twiny stuff just got some lace trim down the side <clears throat> and then on the reverse page it's obviously the reverse of that scrapbook paper really pretty and I've just put a pocket down the bottom with this lace trim um, and then it's layered up with this gorgeous um, lace flower. It's got some pearl trim on the bottom and that's just got a little fold out kind of booklet with another image from the book and some lace on the top. That just goes in there. And then here I've just got a banner and some more lace and this beautiful um, uh, fabric butterfly which I have also put some glitter on. So he's just up there. And then here I've got um, a kind of pocket page made from a file folder. So on this side I've got sheet music with a belly band um, and a cluster including an image from the Cinderella book. And then I've just put this little folding booklet in. This is just made from some greaseproof paper. Um, I think this is probably one of the Jane Austen images, um, just a printable, but I thought it went quite nicely with the Cinderella 
theme so I put that in there and then here I've got some lace trim down the side and then some more vintage little lace flowers and then inside the pocket I've got a big um, journaling tag this is kind of an altered it's not a playing card but it's that kind of thing um, which has been covered here with greaseproof paper and some book page it's been stitched around on the edges it's got this lovely label journaling spot and on the back I've also stitched um, some coffee stain paper and then it's just got a fabric tab at the top so I thought that went quite nicely with the journal that just goes in there so it's quite a massive um, journal lots and lots of space in here then on this side I've got this little fold out little booklet which is just from coffee stain paper and it just holds closed with this little tab and then it's got a wooden heart um, which has been here in the side although I haven't actually got anything in there but obviously you could put something in there and then at the top it's just got some doily poking out and some more shoes that have been glittered and some lace trim and some pearls then we've got another image from the book another couple of pages there and then on this page we've got some more scrapbook paper and then a corner tuck um, with a doily so that's just forming a tuck space for this little pull out tag that just goes up there it's got some vintage lace down the side and then over the page it's just coffee stained it's got some more lace down the side and another one of those little journaling spots down the bottom with some glittered up shoes and then here I've got more pages from the book and then this one has got an altered paper clip um, just with some lace and a flower and that's holding this little booklet of coffee stained paper that's been stitched on the sewing machine and it's just got a little one of those sequined flowers that just paper clips onto there and obviously all these paper clips can be moved around wherever you want then more pages from the book with those fantastic images and then the back of that and then on this page um, of the scrapbook paper I've got a doily that again I've just kind of inked it up with very pale pink I've got this pale pink satin fabric ruffle with some pearl some baking paper and paper and a frame and then it's got this um, sequin flower trim again and then there's a stitched little envelope again from one of the images from the book and I've just kind of finished that off with some lace trim and a little bow so that just tucks in there oops and then over the page um, just got some stamping going on on this page and some more images from the Cinderella book and then here I've got um, a beautiful gold embossed uh, kind of cluster I suppose um, a frame with this lovely gold embossed true love sentiment and then a little kind of tuck spot here formed by this stamped image and inside here there's one of those floating pockets um, <clears throat> so that's just with scrapbook paper it's got some lace and then it's got another image of the shoes got some pearl trim and a flower bow and then here it's just got a pull out tag which again I've tried to do a little cluster down here including a little punched out image of a shoe and then the back is just got coffee stain paper on the back of there that goes in like that and just tucks in there and then on the back of that page it's just got a little lace flower down there and then here held on with a another auto paper clip is just a journaling tag here from coffee stain cardstock and it's also got one of those fabric um, tags that I quite like making these um, which I have coffee stained all of this and it's just got some stamped images it's got a little kind of droplet there crystal droplet and a rosebud and things and that's just attached onto that with a bulb pin I just thought that went really nicely colour wise with the journal so I'll safety pin that back in a minute and then on, <coughs> on this page it's just the scrapbook paper and it's just got a little um, tuck spot down here and it's got a matching tag there um, and on the back it's got here 
the beginning of the story. There was once upon a time a rich merchant, blah de blah. Um, and then it's got obviously some little shoes and some lace and things. So that just goes in there. It's got some lace trim and some pearl there. And then on the back of that page, it's just got um, another one of these clusters um, with a butterfly and this stamped image of this lady. And then another extract from the Cinderella book. And that's just a little tuck spot for this journaling tag here. It's got some more lace trim down the side. And then here on this page, this is another one of those file folder um, pockets. So in this side, I have got this fold out um, kind of flip thing with a kind of pad contained. So again, it's got that iridescent twine binding stuff. It's got an image from the book of Cinderella and then it's held shut with this little tab. And then once you open that, it's just got a few pages there for extra space for journaling. So that just closes like that. And then obviously it's got this um, tie. Obviously if you didn't want the tie, you can cut that off. I just thought it made it look really pretty. Um, and then it's got some lace trim down the side and some more pearls at the top. And that also is a pocket in the side for this tag here that's just got some lace and a wooden tile and a bow at the top and just coffee stain paper at the back. So that just goes in there. And then in the side pocket, there's another one of those huge tags um, just with a beautiful, beautiful image of the, of the um, Cinderella story or from the Cinderella story of her when she tries on the slipper and finds it fits. And that's just been stitched on onto one of those <clears throat> cards and then onto the coffee stain paper and then it's got some lace um, flower at the top and a little pearl centre. So that just goes in there like that. And then here on the very back page I've got obviously the reverse of that file folder page which I've left quite plain. I've just inked the edges very pale um, pink. It's got some of the vintage lace with the ribbon running through it down the side and then it's just got some of this lace trim um, forming a little corner pocket down here and another one of those beautiful butterflies um, that I've again put some glitter on. So in there I've just got a little tag here which is actually just a printable but again I felt it went really nicely. I have inked the back in kind of lilac and pink colours um, but I'm not sure how well that will show on camera. So that just whoops, goes in there. And then on the very back page of the book it's got um, a belly band pocket thing running down the side with this pale blue lace again and then it's got some vintage, uh, not vintage, sorry, some pearl trim here with those rows of pearls. And then it's just finished off with this beautiful diamante um, embellishment there, which I thought was rather nice. And then it's just got this little fold out journaling card, which is just literally a stamped image. It's got some lace stitched on there and a little butterfly stitched on. Um, and that's it. And then the back of the journal has just been kept um, quite plain. It's just got the fabric and a couple of bits of lace there. Um, and that's it. So it's pretty huge, um, very, very, very chunky. And a whole variety of beautiful white, ivory, blue, uh, lilac and pink laces in it. It's really super girly, um, really fairy tale-less. Fa fairy tale <laughs> I'm not sure that's a word. Fairy tale-ish. Um, not sure that's word either but anyway really really pretty and I had great fun making this so I hope you like it and um, obviously it'll be going on my Etsy store so thank you ever so much for watching and if you do like it give it a thumbs up and um, I'd love to see some comments and things so thanks ever so much okay have a great day thank you Bye.